I paint self-portraits, Frida Kahlo once said. Because I am the person I know best, I paint my own reality. The only thing I know is that I paint because I need to, and I paint whatever passes through my head without any other consideration. Frida Kahlo produced some 70 self-portraits, tense, vibrant works that chart not only the changes in her face and feelings, but also the events in her life. Love, loss, politics, surgery, and most often her abiding passion for her husband, the great Mexican muralist Diego Rivera. What passed through Frida's head was some of the most original and dramatic imagery of the 20th century. Perhaps Frida's most astonishing self-portrait is My Birth, in which she portrayed herself emerging from her mother's womb. It is, as she put it, how I imagined I was born. As in all her self-portraits, a single eyebrow across her forehead identifies the infant as Frida. Above her mother's bed is an icon, the Virgin of Sorrows, pierced by swords, bleeding and weeping. Just the kind of imagery that Frida's devoutly Catholic mother cherished. Rivera recognized the courage behind Frida's images. He said Frida is the only example in the history of art of an artist who tore open her chest and heart to reveal the biological truth of her feelings. The only woman who has expressed in her work an art of the feelings, functions, and creative power of woman. The 1937 self-portrait, My Nurse and I, is a declaration of faith in the continuity of Mexican culture. Frida, as an adult artist, continues to be nourished by her Indian roots. She wrote of the painting, I appear with the face of an adult woman and the body of a baby girl in the arms of my nana. From her nipples falls milk as from the sky. I came out looking like such a little girl and she's so strong and so saturated with providence that it made me long to sleep. The nurse's Teotihuacan funerary mask evokes the ritual savagery of the Mexican past. And Frida appears to be at once protected by the nurse and offered as a sacrificial victim, hardly the image of a cuddled, satisfied infant. She imbibes, along with the milk, a terrible knowledge of her own fate. 